Hello and welcome back to Jolly Roger Hobbies. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your airbrush. So what we got here is the Iowata cleaning kit. I thoroughly recommend this. So first of all it comes with step-by-step -step instructions on how to clean your airbrush either for a bottom feed or a gravity feed and different nozzles. Also comes with some wipes a very handy Iwata filter wrench, some cleaner, pipe cleaners, a needle inspection, brush and dental brushes. Now I've added in a couple extra parts in here but that don't come with it like the extra parts from my spray pot. However, it does come with everything else. So I'm going to set that aside right now. Now I just finished uh, spraying our um, with our airbrush. There we go. And the first thing you need to do is you need to backfill your paint. So you're going to put your finger here and bring all your paint back. So what's that doing is it's pushing all the paint back inside the brush or the bottle. I'm going to take that off. And what we need to do is get a little cup. I'm just going to put a little bit of thinner in. I'm using enamel paints so we're using airbrush thinner. If you use water-based paints, you'll use water. Whatever your thinning agent is, I'm just going to take a cotton bud, dip it in, and I'm going to clean our channel right here. There we go. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill, fill a clean big mouth bottle with uh, thinner and we're going to spray out our uh, airbrush. So all I'm doing is just filling this up. Then we're going to attach it to our airbrush. And then we're going to spray it till it comes clean. And what we're going to do is we're going to test it. That looks like just thinner coming out. Doesn't look like any paint. So, we'll go ahead and turn off our air compressor. Disconnect our uh, airline. Put our bottle up, and now we've got our airbrush. And we'll set our cleaning pot aside. Now, I always like to reference the directions just so I know exactly what I'm doing. And then, as you can see here, it says remove paint, bottle brush, fill, clean, spray, clean. That's exactly what we did. Second is to remove and clean the needle. So, we're going to need these wipes. 
And you can use this uh, airbrush cleaner, which is actually best. So I'm going to set the thinner aside. We'll uh, put it back on our pot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with the Iwata airbrush cleaner. Now, first thing you need to do is unscrew the back. And there's a little needle uh, chuck right here. So we're going to loosen this needle chuck. And then we're going to put our trigger halfway back. And we're going to very gently pull out our needle. And we're going to set that aside. We'll set that down. We're going to take out one of our wipes. And you're going to very gently drag the needle between the cloth backwards. Do not go forward, otherwise you can damage the needle and you can poke yourself. As you notice, we've got paint right there. And we'll set that aside. We're going to keep that for now. Next, out of our kit, we need to get our Iwata nozzle wrench. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unscrew our needle cap. And we're going to just drop that in the cleaner. Then we're going to unscrew the nozzle. or sorry, the nozzle cap, excuse me, and we're going to drop that in the cleaner. And don't lose your needle chuck, like I almost did. So next is our nozzle. Which I don't know if you can... Uh, see that not great lighting right here I apologize so now the needle or the nozzle has two flat spots where this will go over you just put it over there and lightly twist be very gentle with it because you don't want to damage that o-ring neither do you want to lose it so we're going to just drop that tiny thing into there. This, the trigger, will come out. So now what we need to do, now that we got our clean body, is we need to, well, clean it out. Those are going to be soaking. So what we are going to do is we're going to take our dental brush now. We're just going to dip it in that cleaner. And we're going to run that dental brush inside that paint channel back and forth. And it's definitely a little dirty in there. And now we're going to take a nice clean pipe cleaner. And again, I'm just going to dip it in that solution. I'm going to run it inside our paint channel and then around the nozzle this is a good thing about the pipe cleaners you can bend it right there and do it again make sure you get all that paint out of there now mine is a siphon feed so it feeds out of the bottom if you have a gravity feed, 
you're just going to do the exact same thing, only you're going to clean out your cup for the same exact reason. I'm going to take that dental brush in there again, make sure we get all that loose stuff out. And then we're going to take the dry end and run it in there. And then we'll set that aside. So next, we need to clean out our nozzle cap. So we're going to take that pipe cleaner in there and make sure. And if you need to, go ahead and run that dental brush in there. That's what it's for. All right, then we're going to set that down. Then we're going to get our needle cap out. And then we're just going to do the same thing for that. And then I'm going to set that aside. And then last but not least, our nozzle. Now this thing's very, very small. In fact, that's how small it is. So you want to be very gentle with it and be very careful. So we're going to take that dental brush again and then just run it in the nozzle. Make sure we get that nice and clean. All right. And then, of course, we'll just double check our directions, make sure we've done exactly what we're supposed to, which we have. So the next thing, it says check parts and passage for damage and paint debris. So they give you this neat little magnifier right here that comes with a light. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to inspect our nozzle. I don't see any damage on the nozzle. O-ring looks intact. Little chewed up, but not bad. Nozzle cap looks nice and clean. Our needle cap and our nozzle cap looks good next thing you want to do is check your needle this is a very important step because you want to make sure you, the tip of your needle is not bent so it gives you a 30 times magnifier and a 60 times you really want to check and make sure your nozzle needle is not bent or damaged anyway if it is damaged then you need to replace it immediately. So we're finished with our inspection. And what we need to do now is just clean the outside of our raw uh, body. Now we're going to take that uh, same wipe that we uh, set aside before. And I keep wanting to lose that. And we're just going to run the wipe over our body. Now remember, take care of your tools, and they will take care of you. Double check the directions, make sure you got it right. Boom, boom, boom. So the next step is reassembly. And you do it in reverse order. So the first thing we're going to do is put it back our... Uh, nozzle. So we're going to put it back in the wrench. It's got a neat little pocket to hold it. Make sure you do not cross thread this or you strip it. So we just put it on nice and gently and we're just going to go right till it's snug. That is it. You do not need to go any further than that. And then we're going to take our uh, nozzle cap We're going to screw that back on. Again, just where it touches and snug. And then our needle cap. And the next thing we got to do is we're going to put our trigger back in. 
Now there's a little lever right there, so we got to make sure that level goes down or back so that triggers can sit in there. Okay, so what else this kit comes with is a little bit of oil or lube for your airbrush. Now, you only want to use this oil probably every fifth or sixth use or cleaning. The reason is you don't want to oil, over oil your uh, needle or your trigger, otherwise it's going to collect dirt and you don't need a lot of it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pull this off and take our needle and I'm going to put one single drop and that's it and then we're going to take our fingers the whole length and that's it that is all you do for your needle and then your trigger you want to pull your trigger back and then right up front you're going to put one drop and that's it that way your trigger can move back and forth and that's it that's all the lube you need So with reassembly, put our needle truck locking nut back on. You're going to take your needle, you're going to very gently insert it back in. Then it's going to stop. And what you need to do is you can push your uh, trigger down and make sure it's straight up and down vertical. So this way it will slide all the way in and let go and then tighten that needle down. Again, just snug. And then you want to look and you want to make sure that needle is being retracted as you pull the trigger back. And everything looks good. So we're going to uh, reapply our cap. Then I'm going to give it one final cleaning. Get those nasty, dirty fingerprints off of it. And she's looking all pretty again. So we're going to set that aside. We can throw away our towel now. We can throw away our um, pipe cleaner, if I know what I'm talking about. And we need to put up our tools. We're going to put up our dental cleaner, our uh, needle check, or nozzle wrench. the uh, lube back in the uh, seal back so that way just in case it leaks it doesn't leak everywhere so now we need to clean out our bottle so there's still a little bit of paint in there so I'm gonna dump it in our back in our uh, paint jug And then this was the Iwata cleaner. So unfortunately, we can't use that. Not for the full base of the paint inside. So we're gonna have to go back to our airbrush thinner. And you can use brush cleaner for this or airbrush thinner. 
whatever you have on hand. Now again, I use enamel paints. So if you use acrylic or any water-based paints, you'll be using uh, just standard water. I'll pour that in. Now I'm going to shake this up, but you got to be careful. There are two holes. There's your vent hole and your paint channel hole. So I'm covering them both up. And now that's looking a lot better. So we're going to bring back our old cup. And pour all that nastiness out. Now these bottles, this little uh, tube comes out. Makes it easier for cleaning. And I always keep paper towels on hand for this reason. So again, we're going to take our thinner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just dip the paper towel in the thinner and then I'm going to run it inside those paint channels. Look at that. You want to make sure you get this bottle clean because if you change paints, put a different paint in it, you do not want your metallic paint mixing with your nice cherry red because that won't look good. And again, a good cotton bud comes in handy here too. So we still got the other side. So I'm going to run that in. And I'm going to use this to force it right through that paint channel. And clean out that paint channel. Because look at that. That is off a mist. And then because we have thinner, we're going to clean the outside of our bottle as well. That looks a lot better. So, we have our pipe cleaner again. This time we're going to dip it in the thinner. And we're going to run it right through this tube. Twist, pull, do the twist and shout. Okay, so I'm not going to give up my day job. We still got a little bit in there, so we're going to use the other side. Right. And you can always take a clean pipe cleaner and run it through and make sure you got everything. Which I'd say we did. So this is done. That's done. Now we still have this bit of bottle. So we're going to just put a little bit in there to get that bomb stuff out. Dump that. Take our paper towel again. Dip that in there. And then let's clean up the threads here. I'm going to clean the inside of these bottles. I usually just take these single sheet paper towels and just stuff it in there as much as I can. And then twist. And then stuff some more. And what you're doing is you're wadding that up in there. As you twist, it'll twist. And just pull it out. 
And we still got a little bit on those threads. So we're going to take some more thinner. You notice I'm keeping this clean. Dip the cotton bud in. We're going to clean out those paint channels. Or the threads. And we still might get some around these edges. So this is where that pipe cleaner comes in. There we go. Perfect. Just like me. Alright. And now we have our nice clean uh, bottle. So we'll just reassemble it. Make sure the uh, notched end is at the bottom. And the flat end is on top. Push it back into your lid. And there you go. You have your clean bottle for your next paint. And your clean airbrush. And of course we still have some uh, thinner in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump that back in our thinner bottle. And as you can see, I've marked on this. Well, you might not be able to see. But I've marked this bottle as this is my cleaner bottle. The only thing that will go in this bottle is my thinner. The reason for that is if I don't get a regular bottle clean and then I put thinner in it and then try and run it through my paintbrush or my airbrush, I'm going to get small bits of uh, paint everywhere. This ensures that I will always have a clean cleaner running through when I spray out. Alright, and then again, I don't like fingerprints on my uh, airbrush. That has been our tutorial for our airbrush. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.